Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Saroj Parajuli. Today we are going to talk about the different types of RNA. In the last two videos, we talked about the structure and composition of RNA and also on the stability of RNA. If you want to watch those two videos, I have provided the link to those videos in the description section and you can watch these videos from the link provided. Basically, there are three different types of RNA and I'll describe in detail about those three different types of RNA and also we'll include some other types of RNA that are involved in the regulatory process. So the first type of RNA is mRNA that is a messenger RNA. Second type is the transfer RNA also called tRNA and the third type is ribosomal RNA also known as rRNA. Of all the different kinds of RNA molecule, messenger RNA or mRNA are the only coding RNA molecule. So the information present in the DNA molecule is being transcribed into RNA molecule and this is a mRNA molecule and this information is being translated into the protein by the process of translation. So only the mRNA molecule are being translated into protein or only the protein synthesis occurs in the mRNA molecule. Therefore, since there is a flow of information from DNA to the protein molecule, these RNA are called messenger RNA because they carry the message from DNA to the protein molecule. The second type of RNA is transfer RNA or in short we called it, it as tRNA. So tRNA has 5 prime and 3 prime end and towards the 5 prime there is a D loop and there is an anticodon loop, there is a T loop and there is a small arm and it is called variable loop. So anticodon recognizes the codon present in the mRNA molecule and then it transfer the corresponding amino acid to the protein synthesis chain and it adds one amino acid in each reaction to the by recognizing the codon and this is a T loop and T loop is responsible for the stability of the tRNA and association of the tRNA molecule with the ribosomal protein and towards the 3 prime end of tRNA there is always 3 nucleotide that is 2 cytosine molecule followed by 1 adenosine molecule and tRNA is typically around 80 to 100 nucleotide long the third type of RNA is the ribosomal RNA. In short, we called it, it rRNA. And these ribosomal RNA are the core of the ribosomes. These ribosomal RNA are associated with other ribosomal protein complexes and forms a ribosome. And they are responsible for the protein synthesis. And there are different kinds of ribosomal RNA and it depends on the prokaryotic and eukaryotic organism. In prokaryotes, in prokaryotic or organism, there are three different kinds of ribosomal RNA. One is 5S ribosomal RNA. Second one is 16S ribosomal RNA and third one is 23S ribosomal RNA. So this is a ribosomal complex. It has two different subunit. One is larger subunit and other is a smaller subunit. And larger subunit has 5S and 23S 
ribosomal RNA. However, the smaller subunit, it has the 16S ribosomal RNA. And moving to the eukaryotes, so the prokaryotes ha has only three different types of ribosomal RNA. However, eukaryotes has four different types of ribosomal RNA. Eukaryotes. So eukaryotes has four different types of ribosomal RNA, and they are. 5S, 5.8S, 18S, 18S and 28S. So these are the four different types of ribosomal RNA present in eukaryotic organism. So if we see the ribosomal structure, there are also two subunit. One is a larger ribosomal subunit and other one is a smaller. The larger subunit has three types of ribosomal RNA. 5S, 5.8S, 28S ribosomal RNA and the smaller subunit of the eukaryotic organism has 18S ribosomal RNA. Beside these three different types of RNA, there are some other types of RNA that we are not covering in this lecture. However, we will talk in details in upcoming lecture. So based on the coding and non-coding nature of the RNA. They are divided into two different types. One is the coding RNA and second one is the non-coding RNA. In the coding RNA, we have only mRNA and mRNA is translated into protein. So protein is synthesized from mRNA and it codes for a particular amino acid and we called it coding mRNA. And in the non-coding RNA, there are two different kinds of RNA. So one is housekeeping RNA, other one is regulated RNA. Housekeeping RNA are essential for the process of translation, tRNA and RNA, rRNA. Both are responsible for the protein synthesis, mRNA, tRNA and rRNA, ribosomal RNA. They are responsible for protein synthesis and beside these there are some other RNA they are responsible for regulation of the gene expression and other process in the cell and those regulatory RNA are divided into two different types one is long non-coding RNAs and other one is small non-coding RNAs long non-coding RNAs are the molecules that has more than 200 nucleotide in length. Small non-coding RNAs are less than 200 nucleotide in length. They are around 20 to 50 base pair in size. And those are miRNAs, snORNAs, snRNAs, siRNAs and piRNAs. And we are going to talk about all these RNAs in next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my content and want to learn more about molecular biology, genetics, genomics, genetic engineering and genome editing, please subscribe to my channel and share this video in your community. Thank you so much and see you in next video.